geht. We're headed to the beach. No naps today. Mommy feels a little tired and none of the kids fit into their clothes anymore. Kelly's a size up and so is Wyatt. They need to buy them new clothes. <laughs> I'm not very good at thrift shopping. I never find nice stuff and there's a very small selection for boys wherever we go. And But my girlfriends always find the cutest things. So if you have advice for how to find awesome thrifting stuff, let me know. If you have a favorite place you go, we usually go to the one in town, and I bought a couple things there, and in Redmond, there's one. Um, but for the most part, it's just difficult to find little boy's things. We're having a little freeze. Shane's been riding the bike to work, to work still in the morning, and he leaves in a lot of clothes, and he, um, but he still does it, so that's good. And Kelly's trying to build a sand castle. The sand is frozen, I don't want to do it. We had a great time at the park and we're headed home. Hopefully we'll have just some quiet time home. Kelly usually takes naps, but for whatever reason the last few days he hasn't been. Just kind of a bummer. I think we might go home and watch Frozen and have some quiet time. And I might make a sauce for our dinner to get everything prepped. And that way I just have to roast veggies. Now that we're home, I was going to make a sauce that we're going to be using tonight. But Wyatt fell asleep on the way home, and so I'm going to instead do a turmeric, lemon, ginger, apple cider vinegar, <laughs> honey tea. I haven't been feeling that great since Saturday. Today I feel a whole lot better. I've been drinking green juice and lots of water and tea and really trying to stay away from coffee and all of that fun stuff and just be overall healthy to try and get over it quickly and also have energy. Uh, since Shane was sick to take care of two kids too. This is a really simple tea that I totally recommend. It's good. I made it for Shane and I. There's a lot of interesting, fun little properties about it, but it's just lemon, small slices of lemon, and then a little bit of ginger in it, and then turmeric, which you can see here. It's just a spice I got in the bulk section at, I think this was at PCC. You can get this in the spice section, but if you're trying to eliminate waste, it's a good thing to do. Plus, getting spices in bulk, I think, is just so much more fun. It's very exotic. It's very smelly. <laughs> I'm waiting for the water to boil, and then basically what I'll do is I'll just pour the water over the turmeric, the lemon, and the ginger, and then I'll add in apple cider vinegar, just a tiny bit, and uh, then a tiny bit of honey for taste. And honey also has organic, good for you kind of honey, has a lot of healing properties too that you should definitely have.
she is done just in time for Wyatt. He's waking up right now and it's nice, golden, beautiful, yummy color and I overfilled it so we probably saw. We're watching Frozen and that's like a favorite pastime I feel like of most families, right? And this was supposed to be quiet time and we have Dancing with the Stars on Monday where we go over to my Mimi's house and my grandma's house, Mommy. Kelly's great grandma. And Kelly and I go and we have treats and we watch Dancing with the Stars and Kelly plays with Grammy and Mimi. And there's four generations of us that watch this show every Monday. And we have done it since last, the beginning of the year, I guess. I mean, I've done it with them for the last few years and Kelly just started going at the beginning of the year. One of the things Shane did, so we're watching Frozen because it's frozen outside there's ice for the first time started over this weekend and Shane did something really cool with Kelly where they did a science experiment this weekend and they put water in a bucket and talked about it freezing because Kelly last week asked me why the water if frosty had come so they talked about when water freezes and what that looks like and they broke it apart and all sorts of stuff it was really neat this little boy has been doing some major teething today so I'm really behind on making dinner and everything but it's okay we're going to roast Brussels sprouts, and it's just from a recipe that I found on Instagram. I follow, I think it's inmybowl.com on Instagram, and I really love all of her recipes that she shares, so I just looked it up, and it's really easy, and it's just basically roasting Brussels sprouts, putting it with kale, and adding a sauce over it. She added croutons onto it, but I'm not going to do that. It's a day later, and I'm finishing off the day, which is hectic and so much fun. Uh, with doing some video editing and I was washing the dishes earlier and a big raccoon was at our window. <laughs> they visited a couple times, there's usually two of them and this time it was just one and he came up to the door and like looked around and we had a barrel from Kelly's little science experiment out there and looked to see if there was any food and then he left. But it was kind of fun, I took a picture of him. Um, so anyway, I... The past few days, I've just felt so inspired and so happy and just really loving everything, loving the direction our life is going in. And at the same time, I'm so far behind in just life in general. Um, but I know that we'll catch up and everything will be totally fine. Uh, so uh, I'm having some tea and I'm going to go read. It's pretty late. Everyone's asleep. And I still have to fold laundry and do all that stuff. But I think I might just do it in the morning because I'm really tired and I know why it's going to wake up soon. Wishing all of you a great rest of the week. I hope you all catch up on whatever it is that you're trying to catch up on to. Make sure you leave a comment below letting me know about your thrift store tricks and, and fun stuff. Da, da, da. I got